Meanwhile, sunshine and high temperatures had people across the Miami Valley, probably you yourself included, looking for ways to beat the heat. Our Dave DeMarco is outside right now to kick off our live team weather coverage of the heat wave. Dave? Michelle, the sad thing is summer is just getting underway, and I'll tell you, it's already pretty muggy and uncomfortable. So with a couple of months of this still coming at us, people I spoke with said they aren't going to let the heat beat them. That's what keeps you alive out here. A primetime party rental crew works to tear down a tent at Carillon Park. It's almost high noon, and they've been at it since 8. We like to get most of our big stuff done in the morning when it's still cold. Cooler, I guess. Not cold. Once they finish removing the flooring, they have to start building a tent elsewhere. So they have to pace themselves with frequent breaks. We got a water jug in the truck. Make sure everybody doesn't fall down. Not everyone is working in the summer sun. And this group of kids spends the morning frolicking in the fountains. You know, we saw this today, and he was like, can I get in, can I get in? I said, yeah. That was having lots and 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 lots of fun. Wow. By the end of their bike ride from Beaver Creek, despite their water bottles, these two weren't feeling too refreshed. I mean, you can see the kids, like, we, they have the right idea. <laughs> so they jumped in the fountains with them, figuring a soggy two-hour bike ride back home is better than a sweaty one. Yep. Now, a couple of things those bikers told me, which they did, and actually good advice for anyone in this weather, is put on some sunscreen and try to find some shade anywhere you can. Reporting live, I'm Dave DeMarco, 2 News on your side.